in the middle of the day, it becomes for a few moments uh, nighttime. Jason Pawlicki and Art Bowler have big plans for next month's solar eclipse. Well, we're kind of science nerds in, in this household. The two of them already have their plane tickets and they're flying to Texas to be in the so-called path of totality. That means the sun will be completely eclipsed by the moon and not a partial eclipse, which is what we'll experience here in Arizona. We're going to be right here, but actually a little south. The closest locale to where we're staying is Waxahachie. That path, where the sun will be entirely blocked by the moon, will pass through several major U.S. cities, including Dallas, Cleveland, and Buffalo. We are not in path of totality here in Phoenix. But Sari Custer is the chief of science and curiosity at the Arizona Science Center. She says we won't see a total eclipse, but we'll still get a pretty good show here in Arizona. We'll see about 64% coverage where the moon is blocking the sun. And for those who are looking at it safely, you should see a Cheshire cat smile of the sun peeking around that moon's shadow. To look at the eclipse directly, you'll need special glasses. You can buy them at the Science Center's gift shop right now, but they're going fast. We got these off of Amazon and we decided they were, they were about $10 for two pair. They came the next day. I think this is a pretty hot item right now. The glasses are easy to find online, but how do you know if they're safe and will give you the protection you need? Hundreds of counterfeits were sold online during the eclipse in 2017. Experts say legit glasses should say ISO 123122 on the arm. That is the standard with which these are made to ensure that they're safe. So you really want to make sure that you're using the safest glasses possible. And you'll want to use new glasses. Don't try to use one from a previous eclipse. And what you want to look for with these special glasses, of course, is that they're not scratched. So these have a, a mylar type material in them. You want to make sure that they're not damaged in any way when you look for them. Even getting fingerprints on the lenses can potentially damage the glasses and put your eyes at risk. And when you wear them, they should be so dark you can't see anything but the sun. During the day, on a regular day, you're not going to see much unless you're looking directly at the sun. And then you're going to see the sun that's completely round. I can't see a thing. No, neither can I. So Jason and Art are all set. Their only concern now is the weather, hoping it won't spoil their last chance to see a total eclipse before the year 2045. If it's cloudy, we're going to be like the tornado chasers. We're going to hop in that car and we're going to drive until we can find some place where there are clear skies.